This is Mahmud Hassan Mehraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDOS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and this is the top view. And, and this is the cross section view of this AE section. So this is the section A cross section view. So first of all, I will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, I will first draw a center line. And this center line has a dimension of 59.4 unit. Then I will offset this two line after offsetting this this two line uh, from 34 unit here and 34 unit here then i will draw a center line here and this center line has a angle of here is 30 degree then i will draw another inclined line here and this inclined line has a angle of 30 degree here and i will also draw another inclined line and this inclined line has a angle of 30 degree also here so so after drawing that inclined line i will draw a semicircle here and this semicircle has a dimension of 34 unit then i will close the shape after closing the shape i will draw a circle here and this circle has a dimension of 28 unit and another is to cut circle here and this circle has a dimension of 12 unit diameter so i am selecting the top plane now sketch now select the center line and place the center line here and draw a line of 59.4 unit so after that you select the offset into this and select this line and offset it to 34 unit make sure to select the bidirectional and uncheck the cap end here now press ok now i will select the center line and draw a incline center line of 56 unit because we can see here this incline center line has a 56 unit dimension so from that i will say the expand dimension option and now dimension this two to 30 degree so after that uh, we can see we have we can draw this line of by using the offset index but if we draw offset index it will not give our desired result so let me show how so now draw a center line draw an incline line here and after drawing this incline line dimension it to 30 unit 30 degree okay i have dimension it to 30 degree now it's time for again select the line and place the line this here and make sure to draw a right angle here okay we have drawn this line so if we again select a center line here okay now draw a center line okay so if we see this portion in the sketch so we can see our center line has gone here like this incline has been shown so we have matched our sketch so that's why i didn't use the offset entries through the whole sketch so it's time for drawing the another part so i'm selecting this line and line tool and draw an incline line here after drawing this incline line now dimension it to 30 degree from here to here it will be 30 degree so i have drawn it 30 degree now again select line and place the line here make sure to hover this to here and draw a right angle line here okay now as you can see we have drawn our incline line shape now select the trim option and trim all the unnecessary part that we don't need so zoom in here and trim the unnecessary part now press ok now you can for a better view you can draw a center line here so you can get a good visual understanding so you can see our center line has meet here and in the sketch the center line also goes from here okay now select the circle and draw a circle here as we need a semicircle so i will trim this so select trim option and trim this extra portion now press ok as you can see it has a small dimension so we need to delay some dimension uh, it is okay we have got, gotten our shape so after that it's time for 
this is to cut circle here and here this is to cut circle both and this first circle has a diameter of 28 and this second circle has a diameter of 12 unit and they are 36 unit apart from each other so i am selecting the circle tool and circle tool and placing the circle here and draw a circle of 28 diameter now again draw a circle here of 12 diameter now select the expand dimension option now dimension this two circle they are apart from 36 unit now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features now extrude boss here you can see it has a extrude boss of 12 unit so i am going to extrude boss it to 12 unit so extrude boss it to 12 unit now press ok now so it's time for drawing this this extra portion for drawing this extra portion first of all i'll draw this line by using the convert entities then i will offset this extra line and this extra line has, has a offset entities of 12 12 unit uh, offset entities of 10 unit because if we 34 minus 24 so this offset entities will be 10 unit here will be 10 unit and here will be 10 unit so i'm selecting this surface now right click on it now sketch now normal to it now select this line and control click this line and control click this line now select the convert entities now select the offset entities and dimension it to 34 minus 24 unit so it will be 10 unit now select a line and make sure to uncheck the bidirectional now reverse this now cap in now line now press ok now isometric it for a better view and here you can see it has a dimension of is to of 26 minus 12 unit so i will go to features and it goes it should was it to 26 minus 12 unit now press ok now even here we can see we have another circular profile and this circular profile here has a dimension of 34 unit and it has a stood boss of 42 minus 12 unit and in our we can see we have another extra cut circle this extra cut circle has a dimension of 12 unit okay so i am selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select a circle and hover your mouse here we can see the previous circle center so place the circle here and now dimension it to 34 unit diameter now i switch it for a better view now go to features now extra boss now extra boss it to 42 minus 12 unit now press ok after that we have another extra cut circle for the extra cut circle i'll select this face now sketch now normal to it now select the circle here and place the circle to the uh, center and now dimension it to 12 unit now isometric it for a better view now go to features now now this time select the extra cut option and now extra cut it to through all both now press ok so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different